Hey, it's Joe here, and I do love an LED light strip. My first one was a blue light bar that stuck on the back of my PlayStation 3 and would light up when the console was powered on. In this video, I'll take you through my Philips Hue smart lighting setup, which features the Hugo 2.0, the Hue Gradient light strip, the Hue Play bars, the HDMI sync box, and of course, the Hue Bridge 2.0, which ties it all together. I'll wrap up highlighting some alternative options. I'll start with the Hue Go, which acts as the bedroom night light but does so much more. It's a little sphere chopped in half with the light emitting from the flat portion. It has a little integrated stand which gives this sort of sloping angle, or it can be set with the LEDs facing straight up for that up lighter effect. In the early days of moving in with no Wi-Fi router to plug a Hue Bridge into, I wondered how I'd get this smart light to work. Enter version 2 of the Go with added Bluetooth, meaning I could link directly to my phone to control it via the Bluetooth app and also use a single button on the Go to turn it on or off and cycle through the colours. The app was super simple to use and it served me well until Wi-Fi entered the building. At this point, I could link it to my Hue Bridge which allowed me to set certain light combinations or scenes. True to the name Go, there is a rechargeable battery inside the light which means it can be detached from the power cable and taken around the house, in the garden, wherever you might need some extra light. I find it handy if I'm working from the bedroom and need a little extra light for video calls. The Gradient Light Strip is a fairly new addition to the Hue Light Strip lineup and it's made with TV colour syncing in mind, working in tandem with the Hue Play Sync box. It utilises gradient technology which means that a single light is able to produce different colours along its multiple LEDs. This is ideal for the light syncing around your TV as the different colours shown at different points on the screen can be more closely matched. It has this premium tubing which helps diffuse the light from the LEDs inside and comes with these little mounting pads to fix it to the back of your TV. It comes in three different sizes to match 55, 65 and 75 inch TVs, so hopefully most will be able to find one to match theirs. TV backlights or bias lighting can make greys and blacks look darker, especially helpful on non-OLED TVs, and helps to reduce eye strain by increasing the ambient light around the screen. Extra ambient light can also help to set the mood, especially with the wide array of colour combinations available. The Hue Play bars are these two diffused LED lamps boasting a roughly 60 million colour palette and come with these little stands that allow you to place the bar standing horizontally or vertically. I have mine standing horizontally either side of my entertainment setup, working alongside the Hue Gradient light strip to blanket the wall behind with colour. You can also use the stands to mount the bars and I've seen some great examples of people sticking them to the back of TVs and monitors to add some bias lighting. Once linked to the Hue Bridge, the options open and there's also another step up with the Hue Play HDMI sync box, which we'll come on to next. The Hue Play HDMI sync box. This little box is essentially an HDMI switcher, allowing you to plug in up to four devices via HDMI cable. Handy if you have more devices than HDMI ports on your TV. But the main benefit and reason why it costs 10 times the price of a standard switcher is the sync function. This is where the magic happens. With HDMI inputs being analysed and used to constantly match the placement of colours on screen using any colour capable hue lights. This can be activated using its own hue sync app allowing you to change the intensity and brightness or change the sync mode to suit video, music or gaming content. For those using the TV and source that are HDMI 2.1 capable, the sync box is unfortunately not able to allow for 4K 120Hz pass through. This is the height and resolution and frame rate combination possible with next gen consoles such as the PS5 or Xbox Series S and X. The future is slightly brighter and there is a software update coming hopefully in September or October 2021 which will allow for 120Hz pass through but only up to a max resolution of 1080 or 1440 due to the sync box not fully supporting HDMI 2.1. 4K pass through at 60Hz is already available. The Hue Bridge is the brains of the operation. This is the second generation of this hub which connects directly to the Wi-Fi router. It lets you control up to 50 lights and 12 accessories and allows the use of the Hue sync box. It unlocks all features of the Hue app, allowing you to group and control all your lights, set automations and voice control via smart assistants including Alexa and Google Home. Philips Hue is a great option for a fully customizable lighting setup, although it is a pricey one as the cost can mount up especially with all the individual items needed for even a basic sync setup, should that be what you want. There are more affordable alternatives however, and I found Gobi products to be quite reliable after owning a couple of their light strips. They have this immersion LED backlight kit which utilises a camera instead of an HDMI signal but has a similar effect to the sync box, and this is alongside other Hue product alternatives. 
One other interesting alternative is the free HueSync desktop app. So if you are streaming content from your PC with the light set up around the monitor, or you may even have a PC connected to your TV, then the sync box isn't needed and you could save yourself a couple of hundred quid or dollars. Finally, 2021 sees the arrival of a few new Hue lights, including the gradient light tube and updated sign lamps, both of which have the gradient technology incorporated. The Hue app is also being constantly updated with new features such as Spotify integration and dynamic scenes incoming. But I think for the clean setup look, massive selection of form factors and wide integration with many other smart device manufacturers, the Philips Hue ecosystem can be a great option to add some smart light into your home. I hope this was useful, especially if you're thinking about adding some smart light into your home setup. I also have some smart lights from a couple other manufacturers which I'll go through in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.